So I guess the big story today is the uh, YouTube shooter. Right? YouTube shooter, pal. YouTube getting shot up. But then YouTube, YouTube is uh, what was it? We got to follow the story. This is this is an interesting story. I don't think it's. Uh, I, I think it's interesting because the, a lot of the facts already came out. It's a woman. It's a uh, California leftist liberal vegan. Got to watch those vegans. <laughs> A lot of the details already came out, and before the mainstream media starts to spin it, what the woman said was she was a, she shot three people and then shot herself, and she said that that um, the reason why she did it was that her videos were being demonetized on YouTube. Now, I don't even know what the mon- de- I know what it means demonetized, but I've never seen a penny from YouTube or any such channel or don't desire to be paid by uh, YouTube. Now, all all due respect, I I respect I respect YouTube. YouTube has given us a platform, right? Are they obligated to give us a platform? No, they're a corporation. They're a a for-profit corporation owned by Google, right? Do they have to respect the First Amendment right? Rights of the people that use it? Yes. Yes, right? People should be allowed to speak their minds openly and honestly, and if they're not, you know, threatening to kill people and all that stuff, then, uh, or, or, you know, spamming with porno or porno or whatever else people do, then they should be allowed to express themselves like I am right now, right? On the other hand, is YouTube guilty of censorship? Yes. Selective censorship? Yes. Where? Well, they've already said, I mean, it's just second hand because I don't really follow, you know, gun stuff. But people that that do follow gun stuff say that if you put up a video of yourself wheeling a gun or showing off your gun, right, then your video is likely to be taken down because that's seen as, I don't know, censorshipable in the eyes of YouTube. Now, is that fair? Is that right? Is that honest? I don't know. If it is, then why do you still have a deal with Netflix? There isn't a movie in Hollywood that doesn't have something that's shot in it and a gun wheeling in it and, and you know, bombs blowing up and people, cars flipping over and... Right? So... <coughs> Choke so why is why is someone a second uh, first a second amendment uh, constitutional person who owns a gun for the sake of protecting themselves from tyranny second amendment right and that person is showing off their fine weapon and you know and talking about it or showing you training you how to shoot your gun in the in the yard or whatever the hell people do with guns right why is that why is it that someone given sensible, like really, that's sensible instruction on on the Second Amendment, right? Why why would that be considered, you know, censorable? But the other the other example of Hollywood blowing people up and fifty or hundred people get shot per move per minute in a movie like Terminator or something. That's up. That's that's fair. See, that's not censored. That's not censored. Hollywood's not censored. Only your gun is censored, right? So there lies the irony, right? So so some kook goes in and shoots up YouTube because they're being censored. Is it right? Of course it's not right. No one's advocating, you know, advocating going to YouTube and shooting up YouTube. YouTube's in a in a, you know, in a in a rising moment where they don't they don't know what to do. All they're getting pressure from probably the government to, you know, shut down these sites. But what that's the see that's the big deal now. How does the mainstream media spin it? Now, CNN, it's hard because CNN, it's a, it's a leftist, a leftist liberal from California, a woman. She looks like she's, she's uh, not white. She's, she's Arab or Indian or some other, other than white. She's the, the other than white box. So CNN has a hard time with that because that's, that's their whole play, right? As a leftist liberals, we, we, you know, we love everybody, but it's, it's bullshit. They, they're not about equality. They're about they're, what they're about is. They're about as my way or the highway. That's what the lunatic left has become. Right? 
So CNN will have a hard time spinning that one in their favor, other than saying that, see the gun, they point to the gun, see the gun, see the gun, right? They'll, they'll, they'll spin it as gun violence. Whereas Fox will, will look at the, 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 not the censorship view, but, but the fact that it was a kooky le- liberal left, right? So you're not going to get the truth from mainstream media at all. So I always say you've got to look at the look at the look at the the, the the story that comes right out, right? Are these false flags? I don't know. It's too early to say, right? Is this a false flag in the YouTube shooting? I don't know. But what you do know is that that there's already a record being produced, and if if the if the agencies come in and start to unwind that story. Then we then know that something's not right. They already deleted the shooter's page, pages on Facebook. She's dead. Right? Now, that's one story. But the other story that is even more important today than that is you got to look at, at the Tim Canova story in Florida. I'm going to keep saying it. Florida 23, Tim Canova going against um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Now, Tim Canova not only decided the other day that he was going to run as an independent, but he also did something insanely brave, which is he actually released a video of the, the director of voter whatever, the people that are in char- are are charged with counting the votes in Florida, in his district where he was cheated in 2016 in his run for the Democratic primary, he was cheated, right? And he released a video where you actually see actual evidence of the woman on hidden cameras saying that we destroyed the ballots. And she says it was a mistake while there was, a, while there was court proceedings. And there's no consequence, right? There's no fucking consequence. Evidence, hard, hard, hard factual evidence on video that the person saying a testimony in her own words saying it. Watch the video. I don't, it's a link down below. Tim Canova. For Congress, go to his site. It's also uh, what's that other guy's name? Nico House put the video up. All right, powerful. Four minutes. You see her. You see, this is the way to go, right? This is brave. These are brave souls. Why are you sucking up to the Democratic Party or the Republican Party? Run independent, right? That's what we told Bernie Sanders to do. They they they, they stuck the knife in his back, and the Democrats run independent, right? Tim Kinova. See, this is a move in the right direction. Defect, right? Divest. Get out. Right? You're in the military, quit. You're thinking about joining the military, don't join. That's the power. That's the that's 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 half of all discretional spending goes to military. Without an army, they're they're fucked, right? They're fucked, right? Take your money out of the bank. Divest. Right? So that's uh, so. Those are the I think the two big stories today. My name, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, YouTube blogger. I like YouTube. I like YouTube. Pick me, YouTube. Pick me, YouTube. Right. Peace out.